What's going on fam? It's Editing Sydney here. So we did a day in life tour and we got so busy with the dogs attacking our rabbit uh, hutch and everything trying to get that all built and then one event came after another event. We got so busy on uh, we wasn't able to edit our day in the life video. So this is just a, a video that we did back in about the late of June of just showing us a day in life what we normally do on the Naked Homestead. What's going on fam? Today we're just going to give you a video of what we normally do in a day in the life of the Naked Gardeners. So let me show you. So here we got our babies. Look at them. They're so cute. They're so cute. We got a, got a buck here, a buck there, and three does. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me see. There we go. Let's check on your water. Uh, gotta go. we'll get you, refill y'all some water real quick. They sent us out this uh, hutch here that we've been just using to house this these little baby rabbits and I decided just to put the stand with a wire mesh over here because we had them out here and we started noticing they were trying to barrel out so we're like nope so we just was trying to move them and they were just pooping so much that we just ha I just had to put the stand here and the good thing about this is now look at all of that great fertilizer that we have that I could just basically use. So I'm loving that. Oh, look at the little baby. They're not, they're getting kind of friendly. The miss has been uh, holding them and stuff and trying to get them used to us. But as you can see, they're not too bad. I gave them some of this uh, hostess plant and they was loving that. So we've been just giving them some grass and along with some of this other uh, feed here to help them out. And later on, we'll, we have a fan out here to blow on them. They'll be blowing out in this direction to keep them cool because it's hot. Even though we got shade right here, it's still hot for them. So this normally come, came with a latch, supposed to came with the latch, but they didn't, <laughs> they didn't bring us, they gave us like a the hook part. They didn't give us the latch part. So we're waiting for them to uh, resend that to us so we can latch it back there. Uh, I think I have a solution I'll probably do later on today. So now let's go tend to the meat birds. I kind of do this so it kind of keeps them from just tipping over the feed because otherwise if I just put it in here they'll go crazy. So I noticed that the corners cross water was kind of low. I'm going to fill it up. So that way they get adequate amount of water because with this Texas heat, you don't want uh, these huge, large, fat birds just to fall over and die because of this heat. So we're going to fill it up. We'll probably do it twice a day. We normally do it twice a day uh, because they just drink so much because of this heat.
All right, so now the meat birds are done. Now let's go take care of the egg laying chickens and our premium meat bird. before they the roosters do their little dance. here check on some eggs till that fills up what are you doing on their leg you're not supposed to be on that that's why she's over here crying See if we got any eggs. I heard y'all clucking. <laughs> Can I get some eggs? You ain't got no eggs. What you over there clucking for if you ain't got no eggs? You, you got plenty of water. Look like y'all got, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and give y'all some food too. I'm coming, I'm coming. Mm. 
Oh, you like that, huh? Oh, our strawberry patch has been getting eaten by some, either some beetles or something. We're going to have to spray these off with some, oh, I just saw something. It was a mealyworm. Oh, there you go. Can you see? That's who's been eaten. Can you focus? Right there. Ah, time to send you up to the as Miss Lady Sure would say, the upper room. Oh man. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we got another one. Right there. Another one right there. Killed that one. Golly. Look like we got some leaf miners right here. Oh man, leaf miners right there. All right, let me fix this. So what we have is some cold pressed neem oil with a surfactant of the dish soap. Has no dye, no chem other chemicals that will uh, harm the plants. And you want to get the top side and, oh, we got a slug here. Right there. We'll go ahead and get rid of him. So you wanna make sure you spray the top side and the underside of the leaves. That way it will disturb the life cycle of the beetle or any soft body bug. All right, so it's the afternoon now. So now we're gonna take y'all along to see what type of chores that we got to do. We're gonna start with the meat birds. We're going to be moving them out the way for their second of the third move. All right. Here we have the duck playpen. So what I'm going to do is check all their waters, see if they got some water and also some eggs. about every about every two days and then for their pools I uh, refill it every three days guess while that's doing that let's go collect some eggs or go egg hunting I should say trying to stay cool <laughs> so in here I keep on seeing some of the chickadees, but I don't see any eggs. So let's go to the next hiding spot. Ah, oh, there we go, right there. <laughs> I was slick. Let's check on this next. 
other spot. Ever since we moved this, they stopped laying right there. That was the other spot. Look at them. Couldn't even wait before it gets all the way full. Oh, look at that. Look at Drake. So now, let's see how many eggs we got with the egg layers. <clears throat> so a lot of them are all up underneath there and under this turkey shawl that we built from Justin Rose Design. All right. Mama, are you back up underneath your, your hutch? Yes, you are. Good girl. Don't let them bully you. I know you needed a break. <laughs> Ugly baby, you know I'm gonna get those uh, eggs, right? Oh, somebody must have cracked an egg. We didn't get out here early enough. Can y'all see that? So she won't let me get up underneath here sometimes. She'll go after you. The little does she know, it's only for her own good. Y'all stop eating these eggs. I'm gonna put those fake eggs back underneath y'all. You got any more eggs up beneath you, Kerr? Hey, are you protecting these eggs? All right, two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, eight. I had 10, in, 10 or 12 up underneath her. Sorry, sorry. There you go. So we got a nice little harvest from the egg layers. Now for the Rudy Poops. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming in. <laughs> How many eggs we got? Let's see. Mrs. doesn't like these eggs to be mixed with the regular layer, so I'll use my hat. Two, four, five out of that one. We built this uh, nesting box from the designs of Emma from Sony's place. We'll put the link down below for her, her channel. Yeah, I know. I know. Are you number, oh, you're number red six. You ain't got any more? Oh, yes, you do. I know. Let's see. Yeah, I knew you had one more. Let's see. So we got two. Oh, I'll be quiet. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So should be getting one more from one of y'all, unless you got another egg around here. Y'all hiding some more eggs? No. It is hamada hamada hot. It is hotter than a two dollar pistol. Boy, let me go check on these uh, rabbits. And that's it for the afternoon chore. Rabbits look like they're doing good. They're getting some nice air. Y'all want some more food already? Huh. We separate our American breast eggs from our regular layer eggs. And these are basically just for the consumers. We don't wash them. We let them know that because we want to keep the bloom on them to help preserve. That was a beastly little one. Help preserve the, the bloom, let them be able to uh, go longer. I'm gonna have her take a look at some of these and see if she needs to wipe them down. 
So the missus got on me because I forgot to mix the feed. What she doesn't know is I could cut this out if I want to and she don't have to hear her negative, negative, negative mouth. <laughs>